Hi everyone, I'm Gemma Stafford, professional chef, host of Bigger Boulder Baking and the proud ambassador for Good Cook. Recently on this channel, I made s'more ice cream sandwiches, a beautiful naked cake, and 10 minute chocolate mousse using some of my favorite Good Cook products. Right now, I am gonna show you how you can make a giant cinnamon roll in a cast iron skillet. The recipe can be found on goodcook.com along with all of the information about the products that I use. Okay, let's get started by making our dough. Into the bowl of my stand mixer, I'm going to add in my flour, sugar, salt, cinnamon, and dried yeast. So then just turn it on to a low speed and let the ingredients mix together. Okay, that's nicely mixed. Now into a separate jug, I have my milk and I'm going to add in some water and butter. So now what we're gonna do is pop this into the microwave for roughly around 45 seconds to a minute until the butter melts and the milk gets nice and warm. So my butter is melted and my milk is nice and warm, which the yeast loves because that helps it rise. Here I have some eggs. I'm just gonna add those into the mixer, followed by the milk. Now here's the thing when you're making yeast at doughs, don't add in all of the liquid, just hold a little bit back to see if you need it all. You might or you might not. Then turn your machine on to medium speed and let this knead for roughly six to eight minutes. So I'm just gonna take it off the machine and put the dough into a big bowl. So once it's in the bowl, lay some cling wrap over the top of it just to keep out any air. Dough doesn't like air and it also likes to stay nice and snug. So here I have a tea towel, a nice clean one, and I'm gonna lay that over the top. So here's what you want to do at this stage. Leave it out at room temperature for around an hour and a half to two hours and let the dough double in size and then it'll be ready to roll out. So it's been an hour and a half. My kitchen is nice and warm, so it proofed up beautifully. It's nice and puffy, as you can see. And if you push it down with your finger, you can feel all those lovely bubbles underneath. This is a lovely looking dough. So I think sometimes people are a little bit intimidated about making cinnamon rolls, but it's actually a really easy dough to make. And then once you try it and you put in all that work and you taste some, you know it was well worth it. So generously dust your work surface with some flour and then take your dough and turn it out. Look at that, nice and puffy. This is my kind of dough. Now, here's the fun part. We're gonna take our rolling pin and you want to roll this out to roughly 18 inches by 12 inches. Now, you want to be pretty precise because we're going to need it to be that size to be able to make our giant cinnamon roll. Okay, so that's rolled out to the perfect size. Now we're going to fill it. So here I have some melted butter and I also have a silicone good cook pastry brush. Now you want to get yourself one of these because it doesn't lose those hairs like a normal brush would. It's really handy and I use this all the time in the kitchen. So just brush your dough generously with butter. You want to be nice and generous here because our sugar is gonna to stick to this. So next we're going to add on our cinnamon sugar. Now all this is, is cinnamon and sugar, but I don't have to tell you how to make that, you already know. So what we're going to do is just dust this generously all over the top, all the way to the edges. Usually we save a bit of room around the edges. Just a nice layer all over, perfect. So now our dough is ready to be cut up into strips. So this is a really fun part. Here I have a good cook pizza cutter. I really like this guy because it has a guard. When you push it into the drawer, you're not gonna cut your hand on it. Super, super smart. So what I'm going to do is cut it down lengthways, two inches all the way along. Nice, big, thick strips. You're gonna see now in a minute where I'm going with this. You're gonna end up with six strips. So now we have our strips. Now here's where you're gonna see it start to take shape. We are going to take one strip and roll it up just like you would a cinnamon roll, but a giant cinnamon roll. Just roll it up all the way to the end, just like that. Yeah. So this is gonna be the center piece, which I have to say is my favorite. Now here's what we're going to do. Here I have a lovely good cook 10 inch cast iron skillet. I use this a lot. You have to take really good care of these and you'll have them for life. I cook sweet and savory in it. It's a must for any bold baker out there. So I'm just gonna brush that generously with some butter. And then what we're going to do is pop our cinnamon roll right into the center. Now what we're going to do is build the rest of the roll around it. So take your next strip and go around the edges, circling the first one, until you start to create this giant cinnamon roll. So just go ahead and keep on building your giant cinnamon roll all the way around. All of these strips will fill up a 10 inch skillet, no problem. Don't worry if it gets a little bit messy, it will all bake out just fine. You can kind of see already what the finished product is going to look like. What we're going to do now is just cover this in some cling wrap, nice and snug. And we're gonna leave it sit at room temperature for roughly 45 minutes to an hour, let it proof and get nice and big. 
So it's been 45 minutes and check this out. If I didn't tell you that this was a giant cinnamon roll beforehand, you definitely know by looking at it now and it hasn't even baked off yet. It's going to get even bigger. So we're gonna bake this guy off at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for roughly 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. While our cinnamon rolls are in the oven, we are gonna make our delicious cream cheese glaze, which works really well with a cinnamon roll. So into my bowl, I'm going to add in my cream cheese. Now we're gonna pop this into the microwave for roughly around 45 seconds to a minute and just let it melt. Once your cream cheese is nice and soft, we're going to add in our powdered sugar, a little bit of milk and some vanilla extract. And then all you have to do is just take a hand whisk and whisk them all together until it's nice and smooth and there's no more lumps of sugar. So there you go, no time at all, our glaze is ready. I'm gonna set this aside because my timer just went off, so I think our cinnamon roll is ready. So check this out, it is absolutely gorgeous and it smells amazing. So you can tell when this is done because it's really lovely golden brown on the top. And if you just push down in the middle, it's firm under your finger. So this is great. Now all we have to do is just take our glaze and generously pour it over the top. Make sure it gets into all those nooks and crannies. So while this is warm and the glaze is still gooey, I am going to cut a nice big slice. Make sure that you give yourself a generous slice. I just look at that. Do you see all the layers of cinnamon all wrapped around each other? Oh my gosh. And the dough is so soft. You know, in my opinion, there's not many things better than a cinnamon roll. It's like comfort food. It's got cinnamon, sugar, and tangy cream cheese glaze. But I have to say, this giant cinnamon roll is pretty legit. So if you liked this video, you are not going to want to miss the deep dish pizza that I made over on my channel. It is an absolute must. If you haven't already seen them, make sure you check out the other videos that I have done with Good Cook. And the recipe for the cinnamon roll and all the information about the products I use can be found on goodcook.com. I'll see you next time.